Good morning, Miss. Good morning. I'm sorry, I lost some um, electricity. So let's start immediately. If you turn off, If you turn off one light bulb, so you have many light bulbs connected to each other, so you turned off one of them. All of the others went off. Does this mean that the bulbs are connected in a series circuit or in a parallel circuit? Series circuit. Series. In a series circuit. Series circuit. This is what happened. This what happens in a series circuit. When one of the devices uh, breaks or uh, is dis disconnected, all of the others go off. Electric wires, we all have electric wires at home. They are wrapped in plastic or rubber. They are covered with plastic or rubber. Is it because plastic and rubber are good insulators, conductors, or magnets? Good insulators. Insulators. They are good insulators of electricity. That's right. What do we call the pathway made for electricity to flow, for the electric current to flow? Electric electric. It is called an electric circuit. Excellent job. Electricity can flow through. Where are the others? Aluminium and human blood. Does it flow through a human body or through copper and wood? What do you think? Which one is the correct answer? Excellent job. The human body is an, is an electrical conductor. Your body is a conductor of electricity. Your body is a conductor. So be careful using electrical machines or devices, especially when your hands are wet, when you were in the bathroom, you have to be careful while working with electrical machines. Electricity is too dangerous and our bodies are conductors of electricity. So if the electric current touch us, it will flow through us and this will be so dangerous and harmful for the body. Okay, it will cause death. So you have to be very careful uh don't touch anything that is electrical white while you're wet okay we have a circuit right here this circuit has three bulbs before we answer the question let's see electrons leave the battery they pass through bulb c then bulb a and back to the battery a and C are found in the same loop. So how are they in series or in parallel? They are in a series. Great job. A and C are mm. in series. They belong to the same loop, to the same pathway. Let's see the second pathway. Electrons leave the battery. They go through bulb C, then through bulb B, and back to the battery. C and B belong to the same loop. C and B are in the same loop. So C and B are what? Parallel. C and B, they are in the same round. In the same series. Parallel. Parallel. I'm not going to take any answer now. Look at that. When two bulbs belong to the same pathway, what do we, what do we say? Are they in series or in parallel? 
and B. In series. C and B are in series. Hello, now look at B and A. B. They are in a series. B and A. B. We have the black line. A. The pink line only. So two different uh, pathways. This means that A and B are. Are in parallel. A and B are in parallel. If bulb B is burned, bulb B isn't working anymore. There is no bulb B right here. Which light bulbs will keep will keep working? A and C. Light. Excellent, Yamalak. Drop. Where are the others? Are you still asleep, Miss? No. No. So look, no. electrons. Electrons. I'll do this. Electrons leave the battery. They will go through bulb C. Bulb B isn't working. Then through bulb A. And back to the battery. So which bulbs will still work? A and C. A and C. A and C. A and C. Bulbs. A. Because the, the, the electricity, it's not going to be. Yeah, that's right. The electric current isn't flowing anymore through bulb B. Electromagnets are made or these are magnets that use the power of electricity to work they are not permanent these are uh, it's the coil turning into a magnet using the power of the electric current how do we make an electromagnet we will need a wire we have to coil up the wire around an iron nail like they did in here and then we have to connect the wire to the uh, the ends of the wire to the battery, okay? In this question, we have four different electromagnets. They are all working. All of the electromagnets are working. They are all good and they can all attract metals, okay? Which one is the weakest one? Which one is the weakest one? C. C. C is the weakest one. This is number one. C. This one works, but it doesn't have an iron coil, an iron nail inside, and it have a small mm. number of coils. Second. Then A. Then A. 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 We added then A. A. an iron coil to it. Then. And then B. B. Then B. B. Then D. Then D. Then D. Then D. We have two batteries. Two batteries. Excellent. Look, in this question, they told us the three. Uh, the or, uh, we can see the three ways to increase or to make our electromagnet more powerful. Okay. First of all, we can add yes. an iron nail. I'll do it this way. We can add an iron nail. So this is one. If you want to make your electromagnet stronger, add an iron nail in the middle. This is one. You can add an iron nail. Second, in three, they added more coil. Look, there is more, more coil in here, more turn. So we can add more turns to make our electromagnet stronger. Now, we can add, we can increase the power of the electric current by adding more batteries, increase the electric current to make the electromagnet more powerful. So in order now, C is the weakest. Then we have A, but then B, but then D. 
Did we all get this? Do we all now understand? Yeah. Yeah. Or do we put that in the score? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. Electromagnet C works. It works. You can build an electromagnet this way, but this electromagnet isn't strong. To make it stronger, you can add an iron nail. This is one. You can turn, turn it more, more, coil it up more, or you can add more batteries. Yalla. Let's complete the statements now. Increase or um, decrease. Increasing the number of coils. Increasing the number of coils. If you add more turns to the electromagnet, what will, what will happen? Will this increase the strength or decrease the strength? Increase. increase. Thank you, Yamala. Increase. Increase. It will increase the power of the electromagnet. If we increase, so this is one. If we add more turns. What if we increase the electric current? Can we increase the voltage? What will, what will happen? Increase. It too. will increase. This also will increase. increase. This also will increase the power of the electric mass. Is it clear for everybody? Yes. 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 For now, all the worksheet is correct. Great. Yeah, question number three. Draw a battery, wire coil, and a magnetic field. Label the positive and negative ends of the battery. How do I draw a battery first? What should I do? Uh, align. Align. You draw the wires. Another one. Okay, we draw a line, then a smaller one. This is the battery. Which one is the positive side? The positive side is the bigger one. Big, yeah. And then it's the longest one. It's the biggest one. Huh? So here is the positive side. Here is the negative side of the battery. Let's draw a coil now. Draw a coil. This is the wire, and we are coiling it up. Then what do we do? We connect them with wire. We connect. The with wires to the battery. Okay, this is our electromagnet. Now, okay, this okay. electromagnet works. It acts like a real magnet. There is an electric current flowing inside. So electrons leave the battery. They work. They pass through the uh, electromagnet. And back. The electromagnet now is working and it can attract magnets. What happens if we bring a wooden block? If nothing. We, if we bring nothing. a wooden block, nothing will happen. why nothing will happen? Because the, it's an insulator. Because it's an insulator. Wood is an insulator. Not exactly. Nothing will happen. Yes. Because think about it. Why nothing will happen? Because because it's a conductor. It's because an insulator. It's a conductor. Insulator. Mahas conductor or insulator. I'm not adding it to the circuit. I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it next to the electromagnet. Will it be attracted to the electromagnet? Because there is no turmoil. Yalla, what about the other? There is no battery. 
في بس there's no magnet because it's not magnetic برافو مين اللي قال it's not magnetic excellent excellent because it's not magnetic صح wood isn't magnetic حتى أنا إذا بجيب a real magnet a permanent magnet it doesn't attract wood لأنه wood cannot be attracted to magnet it's not a metal because wood cannot be attracted to ma to uh, magnets. It's not magnetic. It is not magnetic. Magnets do not attract wood. What if I bring a penny next to the electromagnet? What will, what, what will happen? It will attract it because a penny is a... Uh, is, uh... It can be uh, attracted uh, to magnet. That's right. Oops. The electromagnet attracts the pen. Okay, the penny is a magnetic thing. It is made of metal. But wood is a non-magnetic thing. Thing because it's not magnet, it's, it cannot be attracted to magnet. Last question now, still talking about electromagnets. Yell, I will count till let me see if you are awake. Last question in the worksheet, I will count till five. Please, camera on one, two, three. Four, four and a half, four and a half, Malak, are you here, dear? Malak? Yes. Okay, can you please turn the camera on? Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. You can turn them off now. Kara just came. We're almost done. Here's the last question. We have four electromagnets. Anna, four electromagnets. Where are you? Electromagnet A. What did I do? Electromagnet A. Electromagnet B. Electromagnet C and electromagnet D, just to make them um, clear for you. Who is Ainaya? I don't know. One, two, Rahim, okay. So, as I said, we have four electromagnets. Let, let's, before we start solving the, um, the question, Put them from the weakest to the strongest. Which one is the weakest one? The weakest one. A. 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 Bravo. A. Then. Let's say. B. 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 Then. C. 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 Then B. Then D. And D. Bravo. A or B first because there is one battery only right here. One battery. A has less coils than B, so B is stronger. A by then B. Hone and the two batteries, so C and D are stronger two than, batteries. than uh, A and B. D has more coils. So the strongest one is electromagnet. Which electromagnet? C and D. C and D. The strongest one is D. Electromagnet D. Because it has more coils and two batteries with two batteries. 
what are two ways to turn off an electromagnet? Electromagnets are not permanent. We turn off the battery. We turn off the battery. Turn off. How do we turn off the battery? There is no we, cannot. we can remove the battery, for example. Let's say. Okay. Turn off the switch. Remove switch. the battery. Bravo, yeah, Ibrahim. And turn, turn off, off the switch. If, if there is a switch, turn off the switch. Turn it off. What and else? we can remove the wires from the. We can cut the wires. Mail. Bravo. Yes. Disconnect the wire from the to the battery battery Malak, what did you say also um we can cut the wires cut the wires okay there are many ways but in all of the cases remove the nail if we remove the nail tell me what will happen if we remove the iron nail, will the electromagnet... There will be no magnet. It, it will... So if we remove the iron nail, you are saying, if we remove the iron nail, the electromagnet will go up? No. Will the electromagnet go up? What will happen if we remove the nail? Tony, I was saying, in no. all the cases, we are opening the circuit. If we open the circuit, we turn off the battery. This was an important comment. If we remove the iron nail, what will happen? What will happen? I will leave this question and go to the one that is for. This one is clear. What will happen if I remove the iron nail? I will take this one for example. This was the strongest one. If I remove the iron nail, what will happen to the electromagnet? Will it go off? No. No, no will happen. It will stay on, but it won't be a really strong magnet. Uh -huh. yeah, and taking the iron nail will make the electromagnet weaken. Excellent, Ya Mahdi, bravo. If we... It will not be strong. That's right. If we remove the iron nail, the electromagnet will still work and attract magnetic objects. But it will be what do you say weaker? Well, weaker? Do we do we use this word? Well, a more weak. What do you say? Yes. Yes. We we do weaker. Weaker. Okay. Weak than er. So if we take the iron nail, the electromagnet will keep working, but now it will be weak, okay? Again, electromagnets are magnets that use the power of electricity to uh, attract metals. It needs a, a complete circuit or a closed circuit to uh, work. And that's it. Any questions about the worksheet, dear ones? Any questions about the worksheet? No. No. Okay, great, great. So thank you for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, please. Okay, Miss. Okay, Miss. Have, no okay, have a nice day. Bye, Miss. Bye. Bye.